بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمني من نور الفه اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين With respect to charity and how we can bring charity to the attention of our students, Alhamdulillah, you mentioned in the morning session very important points. Like anything else, first, we need to have awareness. As you mentioned, we should develop in our selves and our students awareness of few things first we should be mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings shukr is very important you know sometimes I say is the key to success in dunya and akhirah if you want people love you be grateful if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love you, be good. Because everyone loves grateful people. This is a sign of your understanding, appreciation, and lack of, lack of arrogance. Those who are arrogant cannot be grateful. Those who are arrogant, you can never please them and satisfy them. And whatever you do for them, they think you owe them. So, we should be making ourselves aware of the blessings of Allah and should never take them for granted. So we should teach this. Secondly, we should be aware of the significance of few things. Avoiding israf. I think the first act of charity is not to do israf. Because when you waste or use in excess, then you affect other people. If you don't do israf, you can always save something for others. And also by reducing the demand, the price also goes low. You know, if we don't do israf, everyone is careful, then even the prices go down. Israf should not be happening in our life. Uh, Sometimes, you know, we have unfortunately too much waste of food. This is not good. We have to be very careful. The second thing, significance of sharing. Sharing is very important. Maybe the other party is not poor or needy. Still, we should share. Yeah? If I have something good, you don't need. For example, someone has brought me something, a souvenir, a sweet, something from another country. It's not that you are needy, but I should love to share with you. Yeah, because when you love someone, you share with them. And we should love other people. We should share with them. If our students learn the culture of sharing, if they have something and the other classmate doesn't have, they should share. Or even if they have, for example, today he has brought this food, another person has brought another food. They should love to share. Yeah? This sharing is very important. The culture of volunteering. This is also very important. You know, we need to work a lot on improving the interest in volunteering. No community can survive without volunteers. Even if you are billionaires, you need volunteers. Barak is coming with volunteering. And charity. So charity comes as, a, yes, as something in a series. So not to do israf, sharing, volunteering, and then charity. 
as one of you also said, one of the group said, we should know that our main reason for charity is to help ourselves. The main beneficiary is the giver, not the receiver. We should be thankful to Allah that we have someone to take from us. <laughs> yeah? And if possible, sometimes, you know, we have to kiss the hand of the person who receives. Because this person is helping us by taking what we give in dunya to bring us for our need in akhirah. Yeah? <laughs> You cannot take money with you as money. But when you spend as charity, this is brought for you on the day of judgment. And even it is grown. It's not just the same thing. So the main beneficiary is the giver. As you said, we need also to have parents on board. If they are on board, definitely they can help, they can encourage, and also they don't misunderstand what we are doing. And I think they should be also involved and their opinion should be uh, thought for uh, how we want to spend money which is collected, you know, things like this. An idea that might be good, but again, I leave it to you, you can decide about your context maybe you can have for your class or for your school a charity bank a charity bank unlike normal banks is not only keeping money a charity bank can have money a charity bank can have hours that you are ready to volunteer so you say that I have 10 hours available for you this month. Next month I have 20. This will be saved for you in your account. And also the whole bank can say we have, for example, 100 hours of volunteering. It can have also goods. It can have dress. It can have shoes. It can have good, uh, food. So someone can say, for example, I can teach five hours mathematics per month so you know teachers can also be uh, registering this someone says you know i can do babysitting for example a teacher for example is very good teacher but has a young baby cannot come to madrasa okay we say we arrange for someone to take care of your baby you come to madrasa so we can have this this is all charity because what you need is also to tell people that there are lots of opportunities for charity. As Maryam also said, it's not only to give money, you can smile, you can do lots of things to help people. So if you can have a charity bank, then it would be great. And also maybe if your madrasa can undertake projects, Unfortunately, nowadays, there are many orphans. And there are good organizations that you can trust. And your madrasa can sponsor, for example, one, two, five, depending. And these projects are very good. Then if you have every maybe month, every three months, or on occasions, sale, you know, people can make food, cake, I don't know, postcard, this type of things to sell and make money. And finally, I think charity helps people for Salat. If for very young children you start with charity, they will be more ready for Salat. Because Salat is for the people who are humble. Charity makes you very humble. Humble 
خشوع means humbleness. So I cannot think of a person who is really a good charity worker and volunteer who would be arrogant. When you see needs of people and when you are able to help people, you would receive this blessing of Allah that your heart becomes enlightened and you become humble. So it helps you with respect to Salat. Don't think we are dividing our energy on two things. No, Salat and Zakat help each other. And this is why in the Quran in many places, in tens of places, they come together. Okay, we inshallah I stop here and leave you for you to discuss, to share with each other your ideas, practices, resources. Inshallah you will receive those points that uh, were typed and inshallah they will be circulated. And one of the things you can do also is to have email address of each other and share. You know, you you find a good story about salat, about charity. You know, share with each other, and inshallah, Allah would bless you. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin.